besides being one of the most visited African country, besides being one of the most culturally inclined African country, Ghana, which is located in the western part of Africa, has some pretty interesting facts that you probably didn't know. In this video, we bring you the 10 interesting facts you didn't know about Ghana that in case you're planning your next visit to Ghana, these facts will probably guide you on how to get along with the people in Ghana and make your visit a very fulfilling one. But if you're new here, my name is Ghani and this is the African Meat Show where I spread good vibes about the African continent. So if you wanna learn more about the African continent, and African culture in general, please consider subscribing, turn the bell notification on as well so that whenever I have a new video out, I get you notified. Also remember that at every end of my videos, I share a free Swahili lesson. This is simply because Swahili is the most spoken African language on the African continent. So be sure to look out for that. And for all of you, my African viewers, if you would like to start making $10,000 and more per month, we just released a very comprehensive course that will enable you achieve this, basically selling products on the Jumia platform. So for more about this, you can check out the description of this video or else you can check the top pinned comment on this very video. sitting on 92 square miles which is slightly above the area coverage of minnesota ghana has a population of 30 million people by 2020 ghana had a population growth rate of 2.2 percent and among its population 57 percent of its people are below the age of 25 years much of this Ghanaian population is concentrated around towns and cities like Accra, basically in search of better livelihoods. The Ghanaian staple food is the fufu dish and uh, if you happen to visit any of the homes in Ghana, this is one of those delicacies that they will be able to present you as their guest. So when you visit Ghana, this is definitely one of those foods that you should try out. It is made from pounding cassava plus unripe plantain into a starchy side dish. So with this combination, you will be able to get a very nutritious dish called the fufu dish. Ghana is uniquely gifted when it comes to how the people dress. The kente type of clothing is the official traditional wear and it's worn on many traditional events like weddings. Through their traditional history, they believe that this type of clothing has been in existence for more than 377 years. So this is definitely one of those types of outfits that you should try out when you visit Ghana. The Akan tribe, which is the biggest tribe in Ghana, just like other tribes like the Fante and the Shanti tribe, base their naming of children on the day of the week on which the child is born. They believe that a person's name influences aspects such as their spiritual and professional path plus their personality. So for this reason, this is why children are named after the days of the week in Ghana. Ghana is predominantly a Christian country with 71.2% of the people Christians 17.6 Muslims and also a 5.2 that follow the traditional religions in Ghana. Many of the Ghanaian people believe that their spiritual solutions can only be solved by some higher spirit. For instance, there's a small god called Nyame 
This is who they dedicate to all their prayers and wishes and they believe that he is able to offer all the solutions that they want. Ghana was the first African country to gain her independence in 1957. This was spearheaded by the great Pan-Africanist Kwame Nkrumah and immediately after Ghana got her independence from the British, many more other African countries were able to also gain their independence. The Ghanaian national economy heavily relies on agriculture with 20% of its gross domestic product directly from the agricultural sector. I don't know which country you're from but I'm sure you've tested one of the cocoa products from Ghana. So this is the reason or this is something to tell you that Ghana heavily depends on the agricultural sector for the strength of its economy. Ghana is one of the most democratic countries on the African continent. Since 1957, when Ghana got her independence, it has had 12 presidents, with its current president being President Nana Afuko Addo, who was re elected in 2020. The official language spoken in Ghana is the English language. With very many local languages spoken in Ghana, the English language acts as a unifying language that enables people from various regions and tribes in Ghana to basically communicate better with each other. So it is their official language. Lastly, at number one, Ghana has the largest man-made lake in the world based on the surface area, and that's Lake Volta. The lake was formed by the Akasombo Dam, which is their main power source or their main hydroelectricity power source in Ghana. Because of the dam construction, over 78,000 people were relocated to new towns and villages to give way for Lake Volta to be able to be formed. So it is the largest man-made lake in the world and guess what? It is found in Ghana. And for our Swahili lesson for today, it is Kuruka. This is a Swahili word to mean jump. So if you're telling someone or if let's say someone is jumping, uh, let's say he or she is jumping, you would say anaruka. So this is how you say jumping or this is how you say he is jumping or she is jumping in Swahili. So that's our Swahili lesson for today. And uh, in case you found this video very helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to please consider subscribing to the channel Turn the bell notification on as well so that whenever I have a new video, I get you notified. Thank you so much for watching this video. Watch more here on the card.